Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today I have taken one question from the comment section. This is from the topic Aries and I want all of you to try this program and in this program I will be telling you the use of system.exit function also. The question says write a program to declare and input the elements in two integer arrays P and Q of the user specified size. The size of the arrays has to be entered also by the user. Check and print whether they are identical or not. So children, we will be writing the program for this. My request that all of you please write it yourself first and then tally with my program and anywhere where you find that some difficulty is there or you are lacking somewhere, then please cross check your program with mine. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you some exciting information. Unacademy is giving free subscription for its creative corner to its users, those who ask seven doubts in their ask a doubt feature. So children, it is a win-win situation where you can ask your doubt, your doubts will be cleared by the topmost educators and at the same time you will get the opportunity to get to join this creative corner. In this creative corner you have more than 100 skills which you can learn. Now let me name a few here you can learn how to develop a computer game. You can learn about Vedic Maths, you can learn Robotics, you can learn Music, you can learn Public Speaking Skills and many more. So children, get your doubts cleared in Physics, Chemistry, Maths and Biology in Ask a Doubt feature and get the opportunity, grab the opportunity to join this Creative Corner and don't forget to use the code Leave Classes. All the best children. As the question says, declare and input the elements in array P and array Q of the user specified size. So that means we have to input the size of array P and array Q from the user. So let us see. Here I have the first statement taken as import java.util. You know that the util package is used for the scanner class so we have used this package and then we have created the scanner object so that we can use the functions of scanner class and then we have entered the size of the array as mentioned in the question user specified size so you have to input the size of array p and array q enter size of the array p and in n1 variable size will be always integer it can be 1 2 5 10 so I have taken one int variable for size of array p, int n1 equals to sc dot next int and similarly n2 is for the size of array q. And then we have declared the two arrays p and q of size n1 and n2. Children here you have to check whether these two arrays are identical or not. So before that what is written in the question if you see that declare declaration is done children always go according to the question always first input then calculation and then process so declaration is done and input the elements now we have to input the elements now you will say that ma'am when the array p and q if they are not of same size then they will not be identical yes they will not be identical but then that checking we will do afterwards First, as per the question, we have to input the elements in both the arrays. So, here you can specify just one print message system.out.println and enter elements in array P. And after that, the size of array P is N1. We will take the loop for int i equals to 0, i less than n1, i plus plus. p of i is equals to sc dot next int. Then after this, you can give one more print statement for entering the elements in array q. This print statement, children, what I am writing is totally optional. 
but we should always prompt the user what we are expecting from the user. So when this message will come enter elements in array P that means user knows that he is entering the elements in array P only. Similarly here we will write for enter elements in array Q and then you take again one loop for i n t i is equals to 0, i less than n2, i plus plus and q of i is equals to sc dot next i n t. If you read the question, we have done till here. We have declared the array, we have input the elements in array p and array q. Now the second statement of the question that we have to do. Check and print whether they are identical or not. Now we have the elements in array P and array Q. We will check whether they are identical or not. For checking that, first we have to compare whether the size is equal or not. If the size is not equal, there is no need of checking. Simply we will come out of the program. We will terminate the program. So here we will check if n1 is not equals to n2 not equals to this is the not equals to symbol if n1 is not equals to n2 that means the size is different so they cannot be identical so there is no possibility that these two arrays can be identical so if this is the condition what we can do we can write simple print statement system dot out dot print ln size is not same Again, one more print statement or in the same continuation, you can write print ln. So, can't be identical. And after that, I am using here system.exit0. Children, this function, system.exit0 function is used when you want to terminate the program at any time, ignoring rest of the statements of the program. So, if in case the value of n and n2 is not same, this block will be executed. It will display sizes not same. So, can't be identical. And system.exit0 will take you out of the program. It will terminate the program. So, this is the purpose of system.exit. Many children have commented, ma'am, please tell us the function of system.exit0. So, children, in today's PDF, you will get the definition also for this. What is the purpose? What is, why it is used? So, please check that uh, in the description box uh, for the PDF link. And now, if this condition is false, if this condition is false, that means the value of n1 and n2 is same. They are equal. So, there is possibilities that both the arrays can be identical. So, here I am not writing else. I will not write else here because if this condition is true, automatically it will terminate the program and if this is false, this block will not be executed and it will start from here. Right children? Now, we have to compare whether array P and array Q are identical or not. The first condition for being identical is that their size should be same. And then we have to compare P0 with Q0, P1 with Q1, P2 with Q2. And this we have to do starting from 0th index number till the last subscript. Right? And last subscript will have the same value in array P and array Q because the size is same. So, the loop will go from 0 to n1 or n2. Anything we can take because n1 is equal to n2. So, for this, for comparison, I am taking one flag value here. This flag you can take either int or boolean or char of any data type. And in the beginning, you can keep one value. And if that value is changing, then accordingly we can decide whether it is uh, identical or not. So, suppose I am taking a flag of boolean type and here I am taking the value as true, boolean flag equals to true. Children always remember whenever you are storing boolean true or false in one boolean variable, 
there should not be any double quotes or single quotes. This true or false should not be enclosed in that. Right? Now here we will take the loop for i n t i equals to 0, i less than n1. Here it can be n2 also because n1 and n2 is same. i plus plus. Now what we have to do? If p of i is not equals to q of i. If p0 is not equals to q0. At any moment where this condition becomes true. That means both are not equal. So we, there is no need of checking further. We should come out of the loop. For that, I will use this flag. I will change to false and we will break. Break will terminate this loop and then you will close the for loop. So this will be like this. When 0 and 0, if they are not same, flag will become false. You will come out of the loop. And if they are same, say the value of P0 is 1 and Q0 is also 1. Then this block will not be executed and in that case it will read the next subscript value like this. It will continue till the last subscript. After that we have to check whether the value of flag is still true or it is false. At any moment if this condition is true then the flag value will become false. But if the entire loop is executed and there is no change in the value of flag, that means both the arrays are identical. P and Q arrays are identical and in that case the value of flag will be true. So here we can check if flag is equals to true, you have to print system dot out dot print identical else system dot out dot print not identical and then you close main and then you close class. So children, once again, I'll explain you the entire program and with my request, all of you, please do write this program. Try it yourself. So as per the question, we have to input the size of the array that we have taken in N1 and N2. After entering the size, we have to declare the array P and array Q of size N1 and N2 respectively. And after that, we will input the array elements in array P and array Q. And after that, you will check if the size is not same. Then you will give the message size is not same so can't be identical and system.exit0. Children please go through this statement once again. System.exit is used to terminate the program at any time and it ignores the remaining statements of the program. So children if you see if this condition is true this block is executed that means if the size is not same. This is executed and once it is executed, it will terminate the program, it will ignore, it will not execute the remaining statements. So and if it is false, that means N1 and N2 are same, then only this part of the statement will be executed and here I have not used else. If it is true, it is coming here and it is terminating the program and if it is not true, this part will be executed, right? So children, this is very simple program. And I hope the logic of the question is also clear and I will try to upload more videos regularly. I hope by now most of you have prepared most of the topics of your syllabus and you are ready for our upcoming mock test 3 and 4. Yes children those two are still left and soon you will get the dates for that. Those who haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos. And no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box. You may follow us on our Instagram also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing. Keep working hard. Keep doing the practice questions. God bless you children.